Yo, what's going on, you small sand dials? Today, going to be taking a look at Blacephalon with the heavy Naganadel GX build. Um, I've been liking this deck. I think it's like a lot of fun. I'm not sure if this is the better way to play Blacephalon. Um, I'll probably be showcasing the other build of Blacephalon um, eventually, um, where it's like one Naganadel GX maybe, and then you play like more Dedenes and more draw supporters. Um, but this one is a ton of fun. I like using Ultra Conversion to draw a bunch of cards, get really big hands, have really nice beast ring turns because you have see so many cards out of your deck um and yeah nothing too ridiculous in this deck it's pretty straightforward pretty just like built around consistency we got the four communication four treasure we play so many ultra beasts that i do play the beast ball because this will almost always hit us if we find the card before we draw too many prize cards it'll almost always get an ultra beast out of our prizes which is nice i'm at 16 fire a little bit higher up on the fire just to um, i've been finding it's like nice to have that extra fire to like close out games in some matchups yeah i've been going up to the 16 fire fire energy i got three ultra space in here because it's all about finding poiples turn one that's all we want to do is find as many poiples as possible i mean sometimes if we can find a fourth we won't always find the fourth but uh, we want to find at least three poiple or one ditto two poiple whatever um on the turn one that's the ideal turn one and then having some follow-up from there so yeah let's go ahead and get into some games and uh see how it runs to a game here first game looks like we're up against uh mewtwo box uh the mew mewtwo box we got a pretty good start that we got a poiple we can treasure for a poiple we can ultra space for a poiple um so yeah pretty good start so far there's a ditto off the top as well so now we're gonna ultra space probably for a uh what's it called a placephalon and there's a rushy start from our opponent not an ideal start for our opponent um but yeah we're in a really good spot so far um, looking good. Definitely looking good. So yeah, we'll probably go treasure for a Poiple, then Ultra Space for a Blacephalon, attached to the Blacephalon, and then Dede Change. A Communication or Lily Top deck would be super nice, because then we can kind of hold on to the Dedenne. I like to try and avoid using Dedenne when I can, but uh, I guess Communication wouldn't really change. Well, Communication would be nice, because we get to put the Charge up and get it out back in the deck before we did Dedenne. So that would, that would be nice for that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what our opponent, our opponent has going on here. Um, we're definitely going to have to deal with Altaria which is super annoying to deal with. Uh, but I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. I think we'll be able to deal with the Altaria just fine. Because um, we can always just hit them with Naganadel. Um, and I don't know if it stops effective attacks, so we can just Bursting Burn them as well. Um, so I don't know if the Blacephalon matchup is actually that good for our opponent's uh, deck in this situation. There's the Heat Factory from our opponent. So I think we'll Heat Factory first, because then we could find a Lily or a Cynthia. Like I said, I don't really want to use the put the Dedenne in play or use the Dedenne if I don't have to. So we're definitely going to try and avoid doing that. Um, and hopefully heat factory into something else then we can use the ultra space after that on top of that as well um, We'll see There's the Mew Mewtwo from our opponent. Yeah, like I said probably a Mew Mewtwo box and it looks like that's is exactly what it is uh, As they do get out the Mew Mewtwo here and ooh, turn one welder as well. All right, so pretty good stuff from our opponent so far, but I think, uh, I think this one will still leave us with an advantage. I feel like this matchup has to be pretty good for us um, I don't think they have enough ways to kind of play around just getting one shot or cleaned up like the Ganadel can just kind of clean up the Mew and Mewtwo if they're using Altaria. I think we can Bursting Burn it as well. I don't think uh, the Altaria prevents uh, effects and it's only damage. So we can always just Bursting Burn it, confuse it and burn it, which should be enough to kind of disrupt them from being able to consistently attack with it. There's the Solgaleo. So that might be what they are initially attack with here. It looks like um, getting the Fire Crystal for an energy back. I think they've already Heat Factory, but I guess I'm not 100% sure. We'll see what they else they have. There's the Rainbow to the Mewtwo. Um, then we'll see. They got the one fire energy back. There's an escape board to the active. Uh, this is going to be at the dead eye chain. So yeah, the fire energy really doesn't mean anything. Um, sounds good. There's Lugia. Ooh, Lost Purge. Uh, that probably won't ever be too annoying for us. Definitely good to know that they have access to that though. Uh, the Lost Purge. We could potentially run, like, run into a situation where we run out of energy if they Lost Purge something with too many energy on it. So definitely going to want to keep my energy spread out a little bit. Switch into Mewtwo immediately. I don't know if I would have done that. Now I can spit poison it if I want to. I don't think I will spit poison. I think I'd rather set up for a Cephalon. But yeah, let's go ahead, go with this first. The Heat Factory for three. Drawing a lot of fire energy. All right. Um, let's set up a lot of charging up guys early on here. I'm going to go Blacephalon, attach the Beast, Ultra Space, uh, Treasure away one of these. I'm not going to Ultra Space yet, I don't think, because I'd rather... Pick what I want after. Depending on what I get off the Dedenne, I'd want to get something else potentially off the Ultra Space. So we're going to see what the Dedenne gives us first. Um, and then we'll check the Beast Ball first as well. Does get us a Poiple. Grab that for sure. I think we're going to go ahead and throw that Poiple into play and then play the Cynthia. 
sounds good to me, because I expect this Poiple to be knocked out next turn. And then once again, holding off on using Ultra Space because we want more options. We definitely want double charging up in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a charging up. Maybe even triple if they don't KO our active. And then we'll just go with one again at LGX. And yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, pass over to our opponent. And we'll see what they do here on their turn. I'm actually curious as to see what they actually try and pull off. Um, I mean, we could go for triple charging up, I think. Uh, and then we could just knock this thing out next turn. <laughs> we could just go for three charging up again at LGX and knock out our opponent's active. Um... Because we do have the beast energy. So that is five energy. We also have the welder. So depending on our top deck, we could just go for a welder as well. We might just go for the welder for one fire and see where it goes from there. Uh, I think that would be fine as well. So I think this one's going to be over pretty quickly in our favor. Uh, we'll see if our opponent has any other shenanigans. Attackers with some shenanigan attacks that I don't expect. But I think I know pretty much everything that this deck has to play. And I don't think it's going to be able to keep up in this situation. We'll see. There is a giant hearth. We're definitely going to utilize that to get this welder going. So I'm actually pretty glad our opponent gave us that. And then we can also use the Ultra Space as well uh, after to go get ourselves another. And because we're gonna be able to use the welder for two and get the energy attachment, we can actually Ultra Space, something to discard off the Ultra Conversion. And we don't have to go into triple charging up. I think we'll keep one of these guys in play and go with the double charging up. Uh, I think our last Poiple is prized. If not, we might try and get that. But then yeah, we'll be able to get those four energy from the discard pile into play over the next two turns. We'll be cruising from there. Yeah, we're in a we are in a really good spot here. Um, Ultra Necrozma. That's interesting. I guess it's probably for the Sky Scorching Light. Although I don't know what matchup you would be trying to use Sky Scorching Light in. So a little uh, puzzled by that one personally, but I'm sure they have their reasons. Um, yeah, and we'll see if they have anything else. But I think this is going to be it. They're probably going to hit us with the what's it called attack. So Galio Turbo Strike. Get that energy onto the Reshizard. Uh, if I had to guess, that would be their plan. Yep, there's the Turbo Strike. Goodbye, Poipul. Probably gonna make its way to the Reshizard here. We're gonna send up Blacephalon and definitely take this knockout on this Mewtwo, though. We're gonna be in a great spot uh, by the end of this turn, for sure. Let's see, draw. Another Blacephalon. I'm gonna start with this, get rid of, get rid of the Lily, because our hand is gonna be super big at the end of this turn. I don't think we're gonna need it. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and just Welder. So this is going to happen for sure. Let's see what the three cards are and then decide with the way the rest of our turn is going from there. Um, again, I don't, yeah, I think I definitely want... I mean, I definitely want one of these in play if I can get it in play. And it seems pretty reasonable to get it in play here. Right now, we can get rid of one of the Blacephalons, bench one of the Blacephalons, and then we'll Ultra Space for something else depending on what we draw. One, two, three. Yeah, bench a Blacephalon. Throw this in play. Attach to the Blacephalon and then charging up. And charging up. And I don't think the active is living... Um, so that means we definitely want to get rid of the beast energy here on our attack. We need to get rid of, what, five energy, right? Uh, I believe we need to get rid of five. Let me use this here. Grab ourselves a... another Blacephalon, I think, actually. Yeah, let's get another Blacephalon out here. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, we've used everything we've attached. All right, mind blown. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's the best way to get rid of it all. Three, four, five. Yeah, it seems good to me. Knock out this new Mewtwo. Their next attacker set up, ready to go, is the Reshizard, which is no problem for us to deal with, as long as we get another Beast Ring or a Welder. We get Beast Ring or Welder, we're in a great spot to deal with that. There's the Beast Ball. That's not going to be very good. Communication, also not very good, but we can kind of just go combo away Blacephalon, get Blacephalon, combo away Blacephalon, get Blacephalon, so that'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I think we're in a we're in a really good spot here. I don't think there's anything else for Beast Ball to grab, but we would use it and see. There's a reset stamp, uh, so it's definitely nice to have this guy in play to help play around the reset stamp a little bit. Two fires and an Naganadel GX is not great though, and that's actually really another reason it's really nice to try and hold onto the Dedenne. We did have, unfortunately have to use him turn one, um, but yeah, it's nice to try and hold onto him because it's nice to have a response to the reset stamp through the Dedenne. It's definitely very nice. There's the Hapu from our opponent. It looks like they discarded anything too important. No, nothing too important. All right, so we need six energy this turn. Welder gets us there. Uh, and one Beast String will actually get us there as well. Yeah, we just need one Beast String or one Welder. Uh, we only have one Welder left, but that means there's five outs in the deck. So we'll probably just go ahead and push up the Blacephalon. Um, because that'll give us... Th that'll be like the perfect amount of energy, I believe. We have two Charging Ups. Attachment uh, is four. And then, yeah. Welder for two. Welder, either Welder put both these in play and then draw into another fire, or B-String for two fire. It gives us just enough fire energy to get the knockout. So, oh, there's double Custom Catcher. So now they're going to get rid of our Blacephalon, um, which definitely hurts, which means we can't quite actually get the knockout this turn. Um, I guess they could also go after an Aganadel GX, which would also be super annoying. Let's see, how many Custom Catchers do they have left? 
Um, this is it on custom catchers. Yeah, they're going after the Naganda LGX. This is also super annoying, like I was saying, um, to deal with. Uh, we can definitely deal with it, but yeah, it's super annoying. Um, now we have no draw power, um, which definitely hurts. We're definitely gonna want to get that Poi Pao off the Ultra Space to try and use the other Naganda LGX. Um, they'll go down to three prizes here, so we probably just want to go with a Bursting Burn on this Reshizard. Um, I don't think they have a way. Then if they KO us, go down to one prize, but they would have to use a, a tag team, so then we could have, still have a response on the following turn. Yeah, I think we'll go with a Bursting Burn on this Reshizard. Or that's my current plan after they take this knockout with the Flare Strike. Uh, but now if we do top deck Welder or Beast Ring, we actually just win the game. But getting rid of this energy might have been a little bit better for our opponent. Uh, I guess it's kind of close. They are at a Custom Catcher, so I could go like send up Nagana, or I could like send up a Poipul, um, and then pass with Poipul in the active. I guess that would also be fine. There's the second to Dene from our opponent. They're almost out of cards in deck here. Yeah, so I could go just send up Poipul pass and then send up Nagana to pass if I really wanted to, um, while I look for stuff. So, hmm. I think I'll still send up Blacephalon though, and just Bursting Burn at the very least. Because I think if they are going to attack us, it's going to be with a tag team. Uh, we'll be able to Charging Up twice, attach. And turn up again, attach. We'd be one energy short actually in that scenario, so maybe I should stall with the Naganadels. Also, Burst GX. That's not going to be very good though. I think we'll just go for the Bursting Burn here. Hopefully, top deck something. No good top deck. Alright, we're going to grab the Poipul here. Um, so we can go with that Ultra Conversion on the next turn. If, hopefully, if the Ultra Space sticks. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised for it to lead play with our opponent using something like the uh, another Giant Hearth or something. So two charging ups. Or a battle loose beast ring. So super unfortunate scenario currently. Uh, but yeah, we should go ahead and bursting burn. Uh, we can get one fire in the discard pile to take the win next turn. If they go for the attack with this uh Reshizard. They could also just not attack with this Reshizard. They might not they might just not be able to KO Blacephalon next turn. That's also possible. Um they only have one welder left. They're probably pretty low on fire energy, so it'd be hard to get the Mewtwo going uh, for sure. Um, so they might just not be able to get the Mewtwo going, which means, uh, I mean, if they attack through the Confusion, well, the Burned in its stick, so attacking through the Confusion isn't too bad. Even if they take 30 more damage, we still need 5 energy to get the Knockout, so once again, we would need to get, to get an energy in the Discard Pile, which we have 3 treasures left, or we would need to get a Welder to get the extra energy and play through that, so, uh, yeah. So they can flip through the Confusion, if they get heads, we, we still don't just win the game. Uh, I mean, they maybe have like a switch or something, a switch and a retreat, and then they could just flare strike again and not even worry about the confusion. I assume they play switches because they play Jirachi. There's one switch in the discard pile. Uh, we'll see what they got. They don't have a ton of cards left in deck, so I assume they have access to pretty much any play they would want at this point. Maybe they're about a card or two off, but uh, yeah. If I had to guess, I would say they probably have access to any play they want. Um, we'll see if they're able to do it. If Maybe something important surprise or something. That's kind of what we have to hope for. Um, if not, they might just go for the flip through the confusion. There's Altaria. I was wondering when it was going to make its way out. I thought it would have been a little bit sooner. Oh, I should have read it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if it prevents effects or not um, from attacks. I know it prevents the damage. Um, so Mind Blown won't be killing the Mewtwo. But if we can just keep bursting burning the Mewtwo and then eventually go into a Naganadel. Actually, at this point, Naganadel one-shots Mewtwo with Turning Point. So that wouldn't be a super good strategy from our opponent to go into the Altaria. Um... So they're definitely gonna need an alternate game plan to that. That is definitely not a winning, a winning game plan there. But we'll see. Taking their time, so it makes me think they don't have any great play. Okay, there we go. Gonna be two energy, or one energy to the Mewtwo. Okay, not even two. That's a big deal. So now they can't flare strike with the Mewtwo. They could potentially use the GX attack, um, but if they attack with Mewtwo, we just win the game. So they can't actually attack with Mewtwo. Because um, then we have we have the turning point turn active right now, so we could just go charging up attach, and then knock out the uh, the Mewtwo. So that doesn't work for our opponent. Attacking with the active also doesn't work now because they put Giant Hearth in play, which means we can go discard one fire energy, attach a fire energy, five energy, knock out the Reshizard. So they're just kind of in a bad spot all around. I think we have this one pretty much locked up. Unless they're going to copy an attack, I don't expect. Um, I have no idea what they would actually copy that would actually make a difference here. So I think we have this one locked up. Uh, they can't copy that. They could go with like a Lost Purge, which I guess would be a little bit annoying, but actually I don't think it does anything as far as closing out the game here. But I think we have this one locked up. We're just kind of waiting for our opponent to go through the last motions here. There's the Double Blaze GX. All right, and we are on 
Turning point turn, which means we just knock out the Mewtwo with the Naganadel. It doesn't matter how much HP it has. It's got that weak to Psychic. We're hitting for 160, which is 320, which is way more than enough to deal with this guy. Um, so yeah, we need to go... Uh, yeah, we have one in there, so we can just go charging up. And then attach. I think they maybe forgot about turning point or that he's weak to Psychic. They don't have the Jirachi in play, so turning point is going to do it here. Uh, they could have put the Jirachi in play at one point, I believe, as well. That would have made this a lot closer. Actually, I don't even know what we would have done. Probably had to go with... I don't even... We would have had to hope to get Welder, but it was Pride, so we wouldn't have been able to win this one if they had just put the Jirachi in play to get rid of weakness. And uh, But they didn't, so we're going to get the win here over the Mewtwo box uh, in this first game. Getting into another one here. Super good start going second, so we can get off that Burst GX if we want to. Got that Triple Poiple that I was talking about through the Ultra Space, plus Kamaway and LGX GX to get the Triple Poiple if we want. Uh, we have that as an option, so that's what we're going to look to do. Triple Poiple. Um... We got the energy attachment and go for the burst GX. Maybe not. There's an Esper from our opponent, so we're probably playing up against a Malamar build here. Probably a Psychic Malamar. Could be Ultra. Sometimes the Esper is in the Ultra build. There's a Viridian Forest. We definitely probably utilize that. Bump one of our own fire energies away. Um, and then get it. Get a new one to go with the burst GX. But yeah, we're definitely going to go with the burst GX. Burst GX, super good to utilize. ASAP in this matchup, get that price. There's the Dedene they had to use, though. We're definitely going to try and snipe that Dedene at some point with the Venom Shock. Or Venom Shock, Venom Shot, Venom Shot. Looking to snipe the Dedene and probably snipe a Malamar. Snipe two things with the Naganadel GX. Hopefully, the Beast Energy is not prized and we're able to find it in a timely fashion. But yeah, that's going to be the game plan um, for sure. So the one there's a big card in this matchup that some people... That, that isn't always played in Malamar. Especially if it's seen in Malamar, which is the... Um, shrine, shrine of punishment. Not everyone plays the shrine. The shrine. Oh, there's a fighting energy though. So we're playing up against Tina Chomp for sure. Yep, there's the guy, Tina Chomp, Tina Guard Chomp. Yeah, there he is. All right, so different matchup than what I was initially expecting, but uh, it'll be fine nonetheless. Definitely gonna go about everything the same way for sure. Um, so we can go Viridian Forest. Get rid of this. Get ourselves that. And then I think we're just going to go ahead and treasure that away. Get ourselves a Poiple. And then we're going to... Communication for a Ditto. Can't find Ditto with Treasure, but we can find him with Calm. And if we're going to get a Poiple, it's basically the same thing. Um, so I'm going to get those two. They both come down. Uh, and then we put the Ultra Space in play. And then we're going to Lily for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right awkward because we didn't get a fire energy so now if i want to burst i won't be able to snipe this guy later on i would much rather i would love to snipe this guy later on uh or as soon as possible to get the beast ball so we're gonna play that no beasts to be seen the fire energy whiff here is huge um yep yeah. all right a little bit awkward gonna have to go with the ultra space and get ourselves a naganadel gx i think yeah i'm gonna go for the naganadel gx um, I don't want to put the second Blacephalon down because I don't want to let it get pinged by Giratina potentially. I think it is going to be... Could put the Ultra or the Beast Energy where we want it for this guy later on. Because uh, we do want to be able to go like... Man, it makes it way more awkward that we whiff the fire. If we just had a fire energy here, we'd be such a great spot. Uh, maybe I got a little bit greedy to see the double fire, but usually when you have 16 fire in a deck, you'll still see one if you Lily for as many cards as we did. So... Yeah, I still think I played it out correctly. Um, yeah, so I think it is going to be attached here and pass. I do want this to potentially snipe the Dene later on. Yeah, I don't want this thing to get ping pinged by Giratina, so we're not going to bench it yet. We're going to bench it next turn um, before we did Dene, most likely. We'll see. We'll see what our opponent does. We might not actually even bench it next turn. We could just sit on this hand for a little while and uh, just draw a bunch of cards with the Ganadel GX for the first couple turns here. Or for the for the next, uh, the next turn here. If our opponent doesn't knock out our active, they don't for sure knock it out yet, uh, but it's very low. Oh, actually, that's right. It only does 160 unless they have the damage counter. So actually, just they just can't knock it out at all. They can hit me for 160 if they want, or they could linear attack my ditto. I forgot about linear attack. Um, it's going to be the double custom catcher on my Poiple, though, it looks like. Um, yeah, I forgot about linear attack on ditto. I definitely could have avoided that by getting a Poiple. I always forget about the linear attack. I don't know why. I just like assume it's not an actual thing, but it is, and I am getting fully punished here because um, I assume our opponent is going to now linear attack here or ditto, or maybe knock out the poiple. I mean, both are fine. I guess because they had the custom catcher, full they're going to be able to like knock out whatever they wanted here. 
Um, so we're not getting overly punished. Um, definitely is annoying the way it played out, but uh, we can still definitely make a comeback here. Um, and our prize trade is going to be about the same. That means they're not getting rid of our beast energy. I assume this means they're going to go after the ditto here for sure. Um, not got the to do with linear attack, lock up the poi pull. There is a Mew, which is going to protect their Dedenne, so that no longer becomes an option for us if they do put the Mew on the bench. Also, putting the 10 damage on Blacephalon is super annoying, because um, that means that they can knock it out with the uh, Calamitous Slash on the next turn. And there's a reset stamp on top of everything else. All right. Uh, we drew into about the same hand. Drew back into about the same hand here, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, still annoying, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Um, so yeah, we'll see what they go with here. I guess they're going to be going with the Calamitous, uh, Calamitous Slash, it looks like. That's fine with me. Uh-oh. Well, we should be fine. Nope, it is going to be the Linear Attack on the Ditto. Makes sense. All right, we're going to send up a different Blacephalon here, though, and then go for the Burst GX. Um, we don't want to give them the one that has damage on it. That is for sure. All right, uh, different Blacephalon. Do this guy first. And I'm going to go ahead and discard one of these and draw some cards. See what we get. And then decide the rest of the turn from there. Let's see. One, two, three. All right. Yeah, so I think it's definitely better to go with the Cynthia. Uh, New Blacephalon. Catch. And then Cynthia. Yeah, I think this is a little bit better for sure. A lot of fire energy. Did not want to see that many fire energy. Uh, we can work with it, though. We'll work with it. I think we have to work with it, so gonna work with it all right um charging up retreat where the welders definitely come in handy if we can find one of those next turn yeah. and then we're gonna go with the uh could get another poipal down i guess that wouldn't be terrible i'm just gonna chill on that though first gx here all right treasure goes that's fine yeah, i definitely messed up when i got that ditto i forgot about linear attack i don't know why i just i just basically Assume that it doesn't have another attack, but it does. It has a linear attack. Besides the GX attack, um, it does have that other attack that I have to worry about. Should be worrying about, but then always forget to worry about. Um, I think we'll be fine, though. We can still definitely trade out the prizes how we want to. We'll see what our opponent has on their turn um, to, eventually, to potentially prevent that. Um, yeah, I'll kind of wait and see what they have on their turn. Looks like they're maybe planning to attack with Giratina. They could also just hit us for 160 with the Garchomp Giratina, um, which would be definitely a reasonable play from our opponent. That's definitely pretty good, hitting us for 160. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see what they uh, decide to go with here. Um, if not, we're probably just going to look to Bursting Burn. Uh, it is going to be a claim to Slash for 160. Um, so I think we are just going to have to go with Bursting Burn here. Um, there's another Poipul, which is pretty cool. More Poipuls is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Ultra Space, get one of these guys, discard him with the... Ultra conversion. It would be very nice to see a welder here to get this knockout. That's a Cynthia. I think I want to try and find the welder. So we're just going to look for it. I don't see a reason not to look for the welder here. Discard this guy. Oh, I think the welder could say it would be plus three. Six. Yeah, welder would get us a knockout here. Conversion this guy away. And then we just have to snipe the Dene to close out the game. No welder. We could dig for it further with the Dedenne, but that seems like a lot of investment. Um, definitely need to do a charging up. Um, I think it's just going to be a bursting burn from here. Uh, and bench the Poipul for a second charging up. Yeah. Uh, do we need a second charging up? Yeah, a second charging up would be pretty cool, I guess. Catch this with Cephalon, and then I guess it is just going to have to be the bursting burn, unfortunately. Um, and then we'll just have to see where the game goes from here. Kind of in a little bit of a rough spot, but uh, we can definitely make the comeback. I think we're going to look for the uh, Venom Shot on the Dedenne next turn. Maybe forcing out the Garachina Garchomp again to then deal with this. And then we'll try and knock that out with the Blacephalon. Um, if not, we can kind of bounce around between other stuff. Running away from Garachina, because it only hits for 130, which isn't quite a knockout. It'll hit like this for 130, then we can hit this for 130. We'll be at three prizes, so we could even use a turning point to knock out a Garachina. Get out to two prizes, and then run around between stuff. Uh, hoping our opponent doesn't find their extra custom catcher or their custom catcher to kind of chase stuff down. We can just run around between Blacephalons and so on. Uh, taking prizes. Uh, we don't have a way to chase the this guy, unfortunately, but I don't think that will end up being too big of a deal. There's a knockout from our opponent. And then, yeah, I'm going to go into the Naganid out. Snipe the Dedenne right now. We could snipe this twice, but that doesn't seem very good. Yeah, I think we're just going to snipe the Dedenne before we potentially KO something else, and then they just throw the Mew down. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Snipe that Dedenne. Got one beast ring so far. Uh, 
attach. And then I think I just want a Cynthia here. Yeah, just go with the Cynthia. Don't really need any of that other stuff right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, another beast ring. That's pretty cool. Get that guy ready to go. Gonna charging up a couple times. Um, use this, find this guy. Then I think I will use a heat factory here. There's a welder. That's a great option to have. Treasure away, Lily. I think I want to use an ultra conversion if I can, and I can. We have three fire left, two welders left. All right, I think we're in a pretty good spot still. Um, I've kind of been up and down to this one on whether on how good of a spot we're actually in, but this is looking okay. They can't really attack with that guy next turn. I want an ultra conversion here, get rid of this guy. We have a couple communications left, out, left which is important because then at the end of the game, we can like welder in our deck to nothing or like deck ourselves out and then communication of Pokemon back in the deck. Um, so yeah. Not gonna ultra conversion again. Just venom shot. Uh, the Dene. Knock that guy out. Draw two prizes. Done. And yeah, I don't, looking pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good actually about this one now. I was a little bit uh, iffy at first, but I think we're in a good spot. We can retreat this guy next turn. Take a knockout with a Blacephalon, um, and then we can take a knockout with another Blacephalon. Uh, the Mew doesn't really matter anymore because I'm not really. I don't really care about sniping anything more at this point. Um, yeah, not really relevant for me to snipe anything anymore at this point. I'm gonna retreat this Naganadel. Go in with this Blacephalon, welder to this, to this Blacephalon. Um, keep charging up, gotta keep that energy in play. We got a lot of energy to pull through the discard pile to be able to utilize. Um, they definitely made a mistake by, mistake by hitting their own Garatinex. Now we only need to discard two energy to knock this thing out. Um, so that's definitely a, another thing that gives us a slight advantage. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I think we're in a pretty good spot. And then our opponent, if they ever attack with the big guy, they just lose the game, so they can't really ever attack with this. I mean, they can if they want to, but uh, we have enough energy to pull off the uh, the mind blown, so would not end well for our opponent, that's for sure. Yep. Just gonna have to go with the Shadow Impact, like I said. Uh, we could attack with an Aganadel, but I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to give him any prizes, potentially. So, charging ups. Charging up. A lot of energy to be charged up. Definitely want to go through all of it. All right. Blacephalon comes down. We're going to welder to this Blacephalon. Do we have two more energy to have access to? We can calm stuff back in the deck. That's great. Um, retreat to this Blacephalon. Uh, does it matter which Blacephalon we retreat to? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Hmm. No, I think we do want to retreat to this one, actually. Yeah, we do want to retreat to this one. But then they can't hit us in spell tag at the same time, so I think... Uh, uh, yeah, it seems right to do this one. I might be wrong, actually. We haven't attached yet, but I don't want to attach because we have the Weller to do that. So we're just going with the Mind Blown. We're going to get rid of one here, one here. I want to be able to retreat this guy next turn, potentially. I might also just actually leave him in the active. Um, I think if our opponent ever finds their last Custom Catcher, they do win the game. Um, so we know that I know they have one Custom Catcher in their hand. If they ever find the next one, I think they do actually just win the game. Um, or they're in a very good spot, too. Maybe they don't just win the game because they have three prize cards left. Okay, maybe I'm actually in a better spot than I thought. And we'll see how this next turn, how this next turn goes. Let's see, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have one energy left. There's a reset stamp. We still have a decent amount of draw support in the deck, so I'm not too worried about that. Yep, there's the Lily. Um, and then the Stellar Wish from our opponent. Is that their second reset stamp? I think it was. Yeah, two reset stamps. They probably don't have any more than that, so our hand's going to be sitting solid from here on out. And whatever it is is what our hand's going to be. Um... Still curious as to how this one's gonna go. I think we're in a good spot, but I actually don't know for sure. Um, they should definitely be able to attack us with Giratina again if they want to. Um, plenty of charging ups left. We have plenty of energy left to close out this game. There is the double custom catcher. Um, so yeah, actually, yeah. So we do lose the double custom catcher here. They can knock out our Naganadel with a Giratina. And then we have no way... I guess we could send up this Blacephalon. No, because they can put damage on this Blacephalon. Maybe I should have not benched this Blacephalon when I did... 
Um, well, we can an Ultra Space into a new Blissephalon. They still need to hit an Energy card for the Giratina. They only have two Malamars in play. So if they whiff Energy here, I guess we're still fine. Um, but if they get the Energy, I think we do just lose. Uh, we don't really have anything we can send up. Yeah, because now they put the 10 on this Blissephalon. So we need to get our two Energy out of our deck with a Blissephalon and a Welder and set up a fresh Blissephalon. That doesn't get knocked out by this guy. I think that's our game plan we have to go for, which I don't think is going to happen. So yeah, they did find the double custom catcher, the last two custom catchers, like they did. We do lose this game, I think. I guess I could have held off. I mean, then the, I wouldn't have had this in play and then the reset stamp would have hit a little bit harder. We wouldn't have had anything set up. Um, so I'll send up an Aganadel, Aganadel to begin with, but I think our opponent pretty much has this one locked up, unless they can't find their last fighting energy. That'd be the only thing. There is the Welder. Um, so we can try for this here. Uh, Ultra Space, I'm going to grab... Oh, we only have one Blacephalon left, so I guess this doesn't quite work. Yeah, this never works here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Blacephalon anyways. And then I think I will... Well, I'm going to go ahead and charge it up. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and Lily for four. I'm not going to bench him yet. Treat to this guy. Yeah, I guess we have to hope they just can't find their fighting energy, which I guess is possible. They might whiff the fighting energy, and then if that happens, we do have a chance to win this game. Um, go with. Uh, I think I can hold on to him. That's fine. I'm go with Mind Blown. Get rid of one up active, one off the Naganadel. Knock out the Giratina. Go down to the one prize card, but like I said, uh, yeah, all of our stuff was damaged, so there's nothing we could bring up that wasn't damaged. Um, I guess if they got a spell tag there, we wouldn't have been able to do anything about that anyways, but yeah. All our stuff damage, we have to hope they just can't find the fighting energy at this point. Now, if they don't find the fighting energy, I guess this guy can't attack, so that's cool. Uh, and then we could win the game from there, but uh, I think they have a pretty good chance of finding that. We'll see here. Uh, let's see how many Viridian Forest are they down. Only down one Viridian Forest. They do have spell tags and the Marchant, Mar Marchant Marshadow and the Custom Catchers. So if I had to guess, and the Esper, and two Reset Sips. So if I had to guess, I would say they only play two Viridian Forest. They definitely play three Fighting at the very least. Maybe four. Um, yeah, they definitely play uh, probably only two Viridian Forest. Uh, which means uh, there's maybe not a too ridiculously good of a chance that they actually find it. Um, so we definitely have... Uh, uh oh, I think that switch was... Well, they might have another switch in hand, actually. I was like, I assume they would want to retreat first and then switch. But they might have a second switch in hand. Um, I think that might be the first switch. Yeah, that's the first switch they've seen. There's an escape board. Once again, not Viridian Forest, which is what we're scared of, but I'm sure they have a follow-up supporter here uh, about to come down. There's another switch. Um, they can still retreat, so that's fine. Here's the Cynthia, so this is it. Do they get the fighting energy, or do they whiff? If I had to guess, I would say they have one fighting, one Viridian Forest left, and there's a Viridian Forest. All right, so we are going to be losing this one. It was still close. Uh, still definitely a close game, uh, but we're going to be losing it here in the end. This is kind of the... Uh, one of the drawbacks of this deck currently with how it's built no custom catchers which means we don't really have any way to chase anything down um but i think our opponent definitely got a little bit fortunate there i forgot about the diddle early on that was definitely my mistake would i have changed anything i think in the end but still a mistake and then they hit the four custom catchers getting to utilize all of those uh pretty perfectly so yeah that hurt quite a bit um yeah nothing we can do about that one just gonna have to deal with that l but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, see if we can't redeem ourselves. One here, we're up against Lost March. This seems like it's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, we'll see though. They did open in Dedenne GX, which would be nice to pick off at some point. We hit him with the Merge GX early on here. Uh, probably gonna have to put a Dedenne of our own in play, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Got the comp for the Blacephalon to potentially get that. Um, and then we'll go for the Merge GX on our first turn and kind of just hope for the best from there. Uh, Lost March is definitely a pretty tough matchup, I think, uh, overall. But it can be awkward for them to find attackers now. That they don't have DCE for their Natus anymore. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, yeah. Got the grass on this first Adenai to move it into a potential Jump Pluff next turn. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I'm just going to be the pass. All right, that's good to see. Uh, yeah. Fire Energy to the active. Calm away, Blacephalon. We're hoping the Adenai is in here. Thank you, Adenai, for being around, bud. And Dede Change... Draw some cards. Gonna save the Ultra Space use until after the Dead I change, so we can potentially get something else if we'd want it. Gonna go. Oh, I guess I could have waited. I still have Lily. I always forget that I had. You can use a supporter after you Dead I change. We're gonna bench the Blacephalon as well. And then Lily for four. Um, nothing much. Alright. Burst GX. Grabs ourselves. Hopefully an energy. Usually not. Again, LGX. Not that big of a deal. 
that's fine with me. We've got the Welder play on the next turn. It should be able to mind blown, knock out whatever they throw at us um, for sure. Hopefully they don't get a one shot off. Nothing in the Lost Zone yet, but Triple Skip Loom is definitely a possibility as here they come, two of them. Do they have a third? Oh, come for a third. All right, there's Spinarak as well. Okay, so that's how they're getting, potentially getting extra Pokemon into the Lost Zone there with the Spinaraks. Paralyzes and poisons, so that's actually like super annoying to have to deal with the paralysis and the poison from the Spinarak. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's a definitely an interesting deck now, the uh, Lost March deck. I feel like maybe the best way to play it would be with Ultra Beasts and Rainbow Energies, maybe. Um, and then play Ultra Spaces of your own to find the Ultra Beasts on the Ultra Beast turns. Um, looks like this guy's opting for the Spinarak, which is also pretty cool. You can lock up like a Tag Team Pokemon or something. Uh, for a turn and then finish it off on the following turn currently they are sitting at uh, 120 damage with the lost march they're gonna need three more into the lost zone that's definitely quite a bit to get i think off of a cynthia i mean a lost blender plus a trumbeak triple trumbeak something like that would definitely do me in right here we'll see if they can uh pull it off um i think i'm definitely i would like to think i'm favorite as them not hitting it this turn but also just retreat to a spinner rack and then poison paralyzing me would be pretty annoying and tough to deal with so um even something like that would be uh pretty rough we'll see what they get out here off this uh communication to go with from here though yeah that would be pretty that would still be that would be pretty rough to deal with if they just had the spinner rack paralyzed poison us that would still be pretty annoying to deal with we'll see though we'll see they got the calm could get it maybe a trumbeak maybe they got two other trumbeaks in hand and they're just gonna get the one shot here they would also need a grass energy they put in mew and got back out mew so maybe they're just choosing to attack with mew this turn even that wouldn't be terrible or just retreat to mew pass is kind of the maybe the most useless pokemon in their deck i wouldn't be surprised if it is the most useless pokemon in their deck and yeah there that is um all right i'm gonna start with a welder here uh, i don't have to welder but i may as well while i got the welder in hand and we could just probably build on this we could possibly build on this hand for the rest of the game, so may as well try and do that. Um, all right, definitely want to use as many charging up uh, guys to attack with as possible. We're opening up with the mind blown guy, but then definitely want to transition to as many of these guys as possible. Put that guy down. I guess I could have actually put that there as well. Then I could have put the welder onto a charging up guy. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna be losing most of the energy anyways. We're gonna go with mind blown here I'm gonna get water of one off the active one off this so we're really just missing out on one energy potentially there yeah, Knock out the Mew I'm gonna draw another prize card here Go down to four our opponent has yet to draw one. Uh, yeah, if this guy sticks around for another turn I think we're definitely in a good position to take this game uh, because We should be able to go into three charging up Naganadels after that uh, And then maybe close out with the blue or we could go with a fourth charging up Naganadel. I think I from here on out I want to set up a, what do we got? The Poipo Poipo. Yeah, we'd want to like set up a Naganadel GX, I think, um, to potentially abuse that. I think that'd be pretty good. Naganadel GX. To start abusing that with its uh, ability. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go with this. Knock out this jump off next turn with uh, a Naganadel. We'll get access to the B-Strings next turn, so we'll get plenty of energy in play for that. I'm just going to keep swinging. Maybe they'll start whiffing Grass Energy. I mean, they only have so many jump plus. Okay, here it comes. The Spider Scram. We're going to be paralyzed and poisoned. And then, ooh, a we'll reset stamp as well. All right, heat factory though, so we should be fine. Yeah, so this guy's gonna get knocked out next turn by a jump bluff. Another grass energy though goes down as two grass energy down. I don't know how many the, this deck even plays anymore. Um, imagine not as much as it used to. Um, so let's see. I think I'm gonna yeah start with this. I'm gonna grab that poipel out of there. Get him out of there, and we're gonna go into the heat factory. Use the Heat Factory, draw some cards. There's a Cynthia in the hand now. Ditto as well. I wouldn't mind holding this hand for a turn. With a charging up on this guy. Yeah, I wouldn't mind holding this hand for a turn. Could go ahead and Ultra Vert Conversion away the Poipol. Need three more prizes. One, two, three. We could try and set up four charging ups in a row, but I think we'd want to go into a Blissephalon or even into this guy at some point. I'm just gonna ultra conversion away the little cephalon, I guess. That's the safest thing to ultra conversion away. Draw three more. Um don't really wanna I mean, we should attach the energy somewhere. I kinda wanna hold it just in case this guy lives somehow. Like if they don't get a uh what's it called? I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to the active. I think it's fine to go ahead and hold on to this energy here. Yeah, if they don't get a um say it, a uh, grass energy to attack with, which is possible they whiff, 
Uh, but yeah, there it is, the grass energy. So we're going to be going to charging up from here on out. I think we're going to go ahead and... I could try and hold the hand, actually. I think holding the hand well, actually wouldn't be that big of a deal. We can set up this. We have the Nagandal on hand, so I kind of want to just look, look to set it up. Like, draw for turn, ultra conversion, and then just keep going from there. There is a Lost Blunder, so they are up there now for the damage. They're doing, what, 200 damage right now? So not quite knocking out this guy, but it's not worth the risk of sending him up, I don't think. So we're just going to be going into charging up knockouts from here on out with these guys. Um, go ahead and Heat Factory. Draw three. Uh, ultra conversion, uh, treasure away and ultra space. Hold on to one of them. Ultra conversion away, one of these guys. I might want to use for charging up Naganados. I don't think so, but I may as well leave the option open. So let's give it to this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and use a welder as well. Bench the poi pole. We have a charging up there in there for that guy. Yeah, so we can welder to this guy on the bench here. Hopefully hit at least one B string here. All right, we got at least one B string. That's cool. <laughs> I was like, come on, give me at least one V-string here. All right, V-string over to the toy pole. Um, charging up, and then attach, charging up, and then we're gonna go ahead and swing with the turning point for the turn. Attach, charging up, and then turning point, knock out this jump bluff. And then, yeah, we can set up more if we want to. We have another turn of V-strings, actually, potentially, next turn. Um, I don't know how many energy we have left. We got two here, that's a three, that's... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. None of the discard piles. So we still have 4 basic energy in the deck, so we can still definitely pull off a B-string or 2 more if we wanted to. Definitely have the potential to do that. Keep that as an option open. Um, yeah. The big thing here is I think it's going to be if they play Custom Catcher or not, which uh, I'm interested to find out if they play Custom Catcher or not. Um, definitely interested to know if they play Custom Catcher or not. Because uh, that's like a big deal. Because currently we're winning the prize trade and we have enough non-GXs to win, to completely win the prize trade this way. Just by uh, using turning point and then turning point and then maybe another one into turning point. Or we can just use this guy with mind blown. That's an option as well. Um, so we can just do that to win the game, actually, at this point. Um, so we'll just kind of have to see if our opponent plays. Because if they can custom catcher up a GX, they can get ahead in the prize trade. So it really is going to come down to, does our opponent play custom catcher? If they don't, I think we have this one locked up. If they do, uh... I do have custom catcher, and I could get close. I guess I could have set up this guy to snipe the Dene as well. So if I get a beast ring next turn, I think it's going to go here so we can snipe the Dene. I completely forgot about sniping the Dene. That kind of completely slipped my mind. Uh, but we definitely could snipe the Dene with the Naganadel. So that's what we should definitely look to do. I don't know why I didn't... I don't know why I let that slip my mind. But that completely slipped my mind. But sniping the Dene with Naganadel sounds super good. So if we can get a beast ring for this guy, that's definitely what we want to do. I actually probably should have put that beast ring that was here onto this Naganadel so I could do it. There are the custom catchers. And they are chasing down my Naganadel, so that's no longer an option. We wouldn't have been able to do it last turn anyways. We can do it with this guy still, though, actually. We can do it with this Poipol and turn him into a Naganadel GX. So that is now our game plan. Make the guy a Naganadel GX, knock out the Dene. Not this turn, because then our opponent would win on the next turn. Um, so we just have to hope our opponent doesn't get their next, their last two custom catchers. Um, and then we can pull it off. Um, I'm going to start with a treasure here. Get rid of ah, communication, I guess. Well, this hand is so big, I don't even know what to do. Grab this guy. The beast energy is prized. Um, unless I got rid of it earlier, but I don't think I did. So we're going to have to pull it off the prizes on this turn as well. Uh, so we got to get a little lucky here for sure. We need to get it off the prizes. Ooh, going to be rough. All right. Um, don't really want to use the heat factory. I think I'm down to just attach here. They could also whiff an attack next turn. That is also possible. Uh, ultra conversion away. One of these. Don't need that anymore. Uh, I mean, we just have so much stuff. There's, like, not enough stuff to use with this stuff. I don't know. Uh, treasure away a calm. What's left in here? Two fire energy, two B-string. Cynthia, that, that, that. All right. So none of that really matters. Just going to go ahead and bench the Ditto. Don't really need to play the Cynthia. And then, yeah, going to be turning point. Knock out. Jump buff. Uh, their Mew is gone, which is the big deal. And then we're going to be here. Can we get the beast energy off the prizes? No, no beast energy. All right. So it's going to come down to does our opponent with attacks. They have three grass in the discard pile. They have enough jump bluffs to close it out. Um, the question is, will they have the grass energies? I think they're going to have it here. If we had gotten the beast energy, we would be good. We'd have the game, but it is in the last two prize cards, so we're not going to be able to quite get to it. And I think we will eventually be losing this one, um, unless they whiff the grass, but they pretty much have been through their whole deck at this point. Um, they're down three, four, five grass energy. Yeah, five grass energy down. They probably play... I would, if I had to guess, they'd probably play eight because they do play quite a few of these spinner acts. So to utilize that guy enough times, 
um, or a decent amount. I would say they probably played on eight grass energy. Um, I don't know for sure, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say eight grass energy. We'll see though. Got a loss march. Knock out this guy. And yeah, we're gonna send up the Naganadel and hope for the best. But uh, I think this one's pretty much done. Uh, they have plenty there, so we don't want to send up. I'm sending up Placephalon is the same thing as sending up the Naganadel, so we may as well just send up the Naganadel. Evolve to Naganadel. Go ahead and hit this guy with a charging up. There's the sad face from our opponent. So maybe they pry, they only play six grass and prize the last one. Throw an energy there, why not? And then turning point, knock out the jump fluff. But like I said, not quite enough. There's the beast energy. I just taken that other prize card. Um, I guess I could have played the beast ball there to get that out of the deck. Um, kind of just want to hold on to the draw supporters though. There's a lost blender for a card. I expect a grass energy here, but maybe they don't have any more. Maybe that is all the grass energy they have. I think they've been through six of them. Uh, five, not quite six. Maybe the last grass energy is prized for them. So their prizes were maybe a little bit rough as well. Um, or as it got down to the end of the prizes, they got a little bit rough. Yep, that's it. No grass energy. And we can close this one out with turning point. I'm assuming they play at least six grass, I would assume. Um, so I'm assuming that last energy is in the prizes there. And uh, we barely win this one, just barely. Our beast energy being prized almost got us, but uh, their grass energy definitely got them. And we're gonna take the win over the loss march here on this last game. And guys, that's gonna do it for the video on Blacephalon and Naganadel with the GX in there. Uh, a little bit different from last meta's Blacephalon and Naganadel. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like if you're enjoying the content. Be sure to subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Check out my Twitch live stream, social media links in the description below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.